Onalaska, Texas, a town with 3,000 people with no airport. But in 2019, WFA found there were more than 1,000 planes registered to two P.O. boxes here. Our investigation found Onalaska was the epicenter of a legal loophole that allows foreigners to anonymously register their planes. If you're a terrorist and you have a way of concealing ownership of a plane in the United States, you're going to do it. In 2020, a year after our story aired, the Government Accountability Office issued recommendations to fix that problem. But four years later... The FAA is aware of this problem, but hasn't changed its registration process. Iowa Republican Senator Chuck Grassley spotlighted WFA's investigation in his report to Congress. Grassley sponsored the legislation that became law this past May. It forces the agency to implement the recommendations. It's a good first step. Dallas aviation attorney Lad Sanger. We need to identify the people, the breathing bodies that are behind these aircraft ownership in Mexico and around the world. By law, the FAA will have to collect information on every individual or entity registering a plane. The FAA has six months to act on the recommendations. Someone once told me that uh, real change doesn't come from within. That change comes from the outside. Deborah, you have anything to say? Deborah Mercer Irwin is the Oklahoma City businesswoman prosecuted as a result of WFA's on Alaska investigation. She was convicted of putting planes in the hands of drug dealers. Retired Defense Department official Jesus Romero testified at her 2023 trial. My concern is how are we going to enforce those changes? And the FAA doesn't have the resources to do that. The FAA said in a statement, we comply with congressional mandates. It's going to take teeth and enforcement and due diligence by the FAA, but at least there's a framework here and that the problem has been recognized.